Welcome to our very first video. I'm Elaine, and this is my husband, Rick Lilly. Uh, since we're running out of things to do while quarantined, we decided it would be fun to do a video and share with you our love for spirits and cigars. And Rick will be featuring two local distillers and we'll be making a couple of cocktails. Easy enough for you to make at home. Easy enough, as long as you have the proper ingredients. <laughs> With over 20 years behind the stick and another 30 years on the other side as a guest, I've made and enjoyed my fair share of cocktails. And I've been in the cigar business for quite some time now, so <clears throat> I'll be talking about all things cigars. We have two different spirits, both made by local distillers, Old Poly Road Whiskey and Kohana Rum. Now, before I talk about the whiskey or the rum, I'd first like to talk about what they're doing at this time. Both of these brands have stopped production to make hand sanitizers for the first responders. Uh, the folks at Kohana and Old Poly Road were kind enough to give us these bottles. The Coho Rum, made from a single varietal, varietal, varietal. varietal Mahaula sugarcane, and Old Poly Road, which is a blend using local corn. And the cigars I'll be featuring will be La Polina. Uh, Casa Rosado and the Mombacho Casa Favili. And this is our very first video together, so please bear with us. First time. Yes, so let's get started. Uh, today I'm going to make you a couple different cocktails rather than just do one. Uh, mostly because I want to highlight two different distillers at the same time. Um, Old Poly Road Whiskey and Kohana Rum producers are both stopping their production of whiskey and rum to make hand sanitizers for the first responders. So, uh, Ko'olau hand sanitizer in a small spray bottle, and then we have the hand sanitizer from Kohana Rum, a little bigger bottle. Both, like I said, for the first responders, and we thought that was really cool, especially doing something that would be so economically unviable to do, to stop your production to make that. A Manhattan made with Old Poly Road whiskey, Berto Rosso, sweet vermouth, some dash fire bitters, dash of Angostura, and a Luxardo Maraschino to garnish. Two ounces of the Old Poly Road Whiskey, one ounce of Berto Rosso, I'm going to do one dash of Angostura, that was a little heavy on the dash, and five drops of Dash Fire Bitters. Stir until it's nice and cold inside of your beaker or whatever vessel you're doing. Don't shake it though. Um, some people like to shake. I like to shake every once in a while too. You get the ice chips and everything else. But for a Manhattan, old fashioned, I like to, to stir. Over a big ice cube if you have it. Like I said, don't forget to garnish with a Luxardo Maraschino Cherry. And there you have it. Old Poly Road, Berto Rosso, Manhattan. Okay, pairing this Old Poly Road Whiskey with a La Polina Classic. Um, they actually have three blends, the Connecticut, the Rosado, and Maduro. Right now, I'm smoking the classic Rosado, handmade in Dominican Republic and made of mostly Honduran tobacco and Dominican and Nicaraguan long fillers. It's a medium-bodied cigar, which I prefer to smoke with this whiskey. Um, it's such a smooth and easy smoke. You can taste like subtle notes of uh, cedar, nuts, coffee, slight peppery spice. I'll be back for a second pairing. I'm going to make kind of an interesting cocktail that I came up with myself, <laughs> believe it or not. It's basically a Trinidad Sour slash Mai Tai. So a Trinidad Sour usually made with a ton of Angostura bitters and Orgeat, little rye whiskey and lemon juice. I'm going to take a Margot Valette instead of the um, uh, Angostura and not use rye. I'm going to use the Kohana Rum Coho, 
which is a single varietal from Mahai Ula uh, sugarcane varietal. They age it for 27 months in a low toast American barrel. That's what gives it that beautiful color. Um, some Orjat from Liquid Alchemist, uh, Peixo bitters, and Reagan's orange bitters, and a little fresh lime. Um, very specific, I know, but that's kind of the profile for the cocktail I wanted. So. Having said that, if you don't have that kind of stuff at home, perfectly understandable. But Liquid Alchemist, my favorite Orgeat to use. I love the Amargo Valette, more of a kind of a Fernet Branca style Angostura twist. Um, and then the lime juice. So we'll start there. Have my ice. We're gonna take one ounce of Kohana's Coho. An ounce of Orgeat. A half an ounce of the Amargo Valette. Four dashes of Reagan's orange bitters and two dashes of the Peugeot Creole bitters. And last but not least, a half ounce of fresh lime juice. We're gonna shake and double strain into this cool little glass, some small cordial. And double strain to get the ice chips out. <laughs> Something cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that beautiful cocktail that Rick just created and inspired you to make it at home. I'm pairing this tasty dark aged Kohana rum with this beautiful La Chacasa Favili cigar. Rum and cigars has always gone hand in hand. Sugar cane and tobacco are both grown in the same regions. If you travel to any cigar producing country like Cuba, Dominican Republic, um, you will for sure also find rum. So I guess what goes together goes together. By any means, I'm not saying that what I'm pairing right now is the perfect pairing. This is just what works for my palette. I'm still learning. There's just so much to learn and there's a fuck ton of cigars out there that I have not tried yet. The most important is just enjoying the experience. Mombacha Casa Favili Cigar. Full bodied cigar but not overwhelming. A bit of spice but smooth. There's Nutty, earthy, peppery notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm going to add a little ice. I noticed that when I put little ice with this rum, it brings out subtle hints of sweetness. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and continue to enjoy this. <laughs> Cheers. So it's the end of our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. And we'll see you next time. Aloha. Thank <laughs> you.